I would like to talk about Jaden Ivey for a quick second, just a little yeah. asterisk, man. I mean, we all know he's phenomenal. I don't think it's a snowball's chance in hell that he falls to us. Get, yeah, I don't think he get him. But I've seen weird things happen in, in the draft. I mean, didn't Dame Lillard get drafted like 10? You know what I mean? So They got some dumbasses. So yeah, like you're right on 11, that. You know, so you just never know, man. But uh, Jalen Ivey, man, this dude here, he, he's a little bit, uh, him and Shaden Sharp are in a similar mold. When you look at the athleticism, uh, this guy, he just blows by everybody, man. He got a nice little dribble package, you know what I mean? But half the time, he don't need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, his first step is just ridiculous, man. And, and he can jump out the gym as well. Um, he can score in the paint. He, he can score on the perimeter. I, I believe he has the ability to be a very good facilitator. I'm not saying he's going to be like Chris Paul or anything. But um, he definitely could run some minutes at the point for you, you know, especially for the Pels if you looking for somebody like a scoring point. Or he can be a two guard. You know, he don't have to play the point. He's he's a perfect example of a combo guard. Feel the same way about Shaden Sharp as well. Um, feel the same way about Johnny Davis as well. But Jalen Ivey, out of the three guys I mentioned, he's the most accomplished. He's the one that has proven the most. He's the one that uh, you have no question marks by him. You know what he's capable of. The kid is special. You know, um, I can't really find a lot of knocks on him. I think he get lazy on defense sometimes, but I think it's just due to maybe boredom. Uh, he just don't feel like it because he can play D2. Like, he's a pretty good defender. Um, he has great athleticism, man. His three ball at times you know was a little shaky um this year he shot 37 percent, but i believe the year before because he is a sophomore his three ball was was iffy and he worked on it and improved man as you can see right here man the brother's probably barely even really trying <laughs> how fast he is his first step is just insane man i mean all he needs is about two steps and he can just jump from anywhere it's it's crazy how good he is and when i was watching him you know, in the tournament and throughout uh, the year, man, he was just one of those guys who's like, I don't know what the hell you want to call it, but whatever you want to call it, he got it. You know what I mean? He, he just got it. Just, just a, He's electric. And I think wherever he goes, this will be a guy that, you know, we're going to be talking about for some years. So if you were able to get him because some idiots just didn't pick him up, I would throw my remote at the TV if we got a guy like Jay Ivey, but in a good way, because I would be shocked as hell. Fella can see him now. They need to run up and turn that damn envelope. Or oh, no, it ain't. That's that's uh, football. But it's the envelope. God, what it is in basketball. However, we do that. But um, man, they need to hurry up and make that goddamn pick for somebody to try to renege and put their other pick down and, and redo that shit because. It would be amazing if Javen, I, Jalen Ivey fell to eight. I was on the train of getting him all year and found out about Shaden Sharp, kind of switched my stance because the more I looked at Jaden Ivey, I was like, man, ain't no way in hell he's going to fall us. <laughs> I thought he'd probably be a, the two pick at, at one point in time. I knew he wasn't going to go number one, but um, they're projecting him at four, and I think that's a great deal for whoever gets him there if he goes at four. Hopefully, cross our fingers, we can get him at eight. This would be amazing, man. Again, just like Johnny Davis, pair him up with CJ, man. Let him train him up. He'd be our sixth man, a uh, guy we build up for uh, when CJ, you know, is starting to decline a little bit. We want to reduce his role, maybe uh, remove him from being a starter. Or if he is a starter, maybe he don't start so much and, and he plays with the second unit a lot in the game. This would be the guy that steps up and takes his role if we were able to get him. To be honest with you, whoever the Pelicans take, they, they'll they have an opportunity to get a, a pretty nice player at eight, D.C., to be honest with you, inside the top yeah. ten. At eight, the Pelicans will definitely have a player that's going to help the bench in serious ways, man. It's just so, it's just amazing how everything turned out, man, for the Pelicans and how it all landed, what we're doing. All right, D.C. Perfect. Perfect.